Hello, today we're going to look at programming the Pulsar Ultra 5 controller. Now for this particular application, the customer is unhappy with their float switches and they wish to retrofit the Pulsar non-contact ultrasonic controller in replacement of the float switches. So let's get started. The passcode to get into our controller is 1997. So hold your finger on the first digit. 1997 and enter. It takes you straight to what's called Ultra Wizard. We press enter and go in there. It's saying it's currently a level and volume controller. I'm going to press zero to reset and enter. It's now given us a choice of level, volume, pump or differential or open channel flow control. Now with this particular application the customer wishes not to use the conventional way of doing pump control which is typically one relay for one pump which controls both the on and off set point. Uh, this particular customer wishes to just replace the wires from the float switches and have the Ultra 5 do that control. So we're just going to select basic level. Now what the controller is doing now is hiding all the menus that you don't need. So for example pump control, open channel flow measurement, differential. We don't need them in this application so we're hiding them in the background. Now for this particular customer's application they wish to use relay 1 which is going to act as the common off level point which will replace that lowest float switch. Relay 2 which is going to be the lead pump on point. And relay 3 which is going to be the lag pump on point and they also want to use one alarm which is going to be a high alarm which is going to go in relay 4. It's a two pump control application but we're going to be using three relays to control the two pumps as we are integrating it with the existing control panel and leaving the wiring as in to avoid any complications. Now it's given us the menus of the quick setup. We're going to press enter and it's saying what is our application? Are we level or volume? Well, we're going to select one because we're just doing a simple level application. Now the control we're going to be doing is we're going to be controlling the level going down. So that is two and enter. The number of control relays, as mentioned, we're going to be using these three relays for controlling the pumps and then this relay here for the high alarm. So we want three relays for control in total. Control pump number one, or control relay number one, we want to assign to relay one. Control Relay 2, you'll see it's actually no longer given us the option of Relay 1 because we've already assigned it to a job. So let's select 2. And likewise again, Relay 1 and 2 have been allocated to a job. So let's select 3 for that third Control Relay. Number of Alarms, you'll see it's only given us an option of no alarms, one alarm or two alarms. Well, that's because we only have two relays left on the Ultra 5 controller. But we only want one in this instance. And we'll set it as a high alarm and allocate to relay 4.
So the unit now is configuring itself for the first three relays to be controlling and relay four to be an alarm relay. The next portion we need to look at is the transducer that we're going to be using. Now this application is only a 10 foot application which is at the limits of the DB3 so we've opted for the DB6. And you currently say it's set on 2 which is for DB6 and then there's a wide selection of transducers going up to a DB50 which equates to 164 foot range. So we can just press enter material liquid solid or closed tank well liquid is what we're going to be doing on this application solids could be a rock crushing application and a closed tank is a typically a chemical tank that is in a completely enclosed so we'll select one measurement units we want feet which is the default for the North American unit so we'll just press enter again and then the six meters that we told the transducer that we have on the DB6 uh, equates to 19.685 feet for this particular application we are only working to a range of 10 feet Now all ultrasonics have what's known as a blanking distance and it's an area in front of the transducer face it cannot make a reading. Now with the DB6 it happens to be just short of one foot and you can see the controller has automatically calculated that as the maximum working span in our 10 foot application is going to be 9.016 feet. Our 4 to 20 is automatically spanned on that so I'm going to just round that down to 9 feet. For more options hit enter. This is where we're going to configure our relays. So relay 1 set point 1. And this is our common off level point. Which wants to be 1.5. You'll also note it's asking once again for the information in feet because we've asked it to be in feet. Now as that level in that tank begins to rise again, we want that relay to switch off. So we're going to have the off point, just set it two feet. Now relay two, set point one, this is the on point for the lead pump. In this case we want that to be four feet. And then for the off point anywhere below that four feet mark will do so we can make that 3.5 feet. Enter. Now the lag pump if the lead pump is struggling to handle the flow in the well we need a lag pump to come on and we're going to have that lag pump come on at five feet enter and once again we just need a value below that for it to turn off which in this case we'll have at 4.5 feet and relay four this was what we set as a high level alarm. So we want that high level alarm coming on. We're going to set that to seven feet. You'll also notice it's automatically giving you set points which are close to where they need to be based on us telling it what the application is. We'll have that alarm going off at six feet. The milliamp output range just confirms 
what it's set to, which is 4 to 20. Fill damping says the maximum level that we can see it fill is 32 feet per minute. And empty damping is the maximum level it can empty, which is also 32 feet per minute. I typically very rarely change these. So we'll come all the way back around to the beginning to the quick apps. So what we can do is actually test what we've programmed. We go into simulation, we go into simulate, and then we want to select manual soft, which means the relays won't kick over, but the arrow keys on the manual portion will take the level up and down. So we want to select one manual soft. Now it's currently shown as one relay is green and the other three relays are orange and then this final one is off. What it's saying is relay one is energized which it's the off point which is energized. Relay two and three are the on points for the pump they've not come on and we don't have a high alarm yet. So let's take this level up. We've now lost that first relay so they're all de-energized. At four feet pump one has come on. Now let's say we're in a application where the level is continuing to rise. And now we've got pump one lead and the lag pump on and that level continues to rise and then we've now got that red indicating a high alarm. We take it all the way back down. You'll see that relay one, which is the common off point for both pumps, has now come on. And that's the whole pump controller programmed. If you have any questions, please visit our website at www.pulsar-pmm.com. Thank you.